Hi Beauties and Curls, we are back with another video and today's video is going to be a review of the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD Foundation. Now this foundation claims to have medium to full coverage and lasts all day. I am wearing it today. Now the first day that I used it, I did not get footage on that, but I was a greasy mess. And I used the NYX first base primer it was like a primer spray now this I'm normal to dry skin you guys and I have foundation Fridays so I will link the video down below of my playlist of all the foundations that I have reviewed I am like NC 42 if you want to go by Mac for reference but I love this foundation for normal to dry skin I highly recommend this one it performs like a high-end foundation and this only cost me like under $10. Absolutely love this foundation. I did pick it up in warm beige. I did match myself perfectly. If you're having issues with ordering products online, which I did because I couldn't find it in any of the beauty supply stores, I Googled the swatches and by the swatches, I could tell that this was a perfect shade for me. I also found somebody on YouTube that actually was my around my same skin tone that was NC42 and found that warm beige worked for them as well. Me great coverage. I would say that this definitely gives you medium to full. I definitely feel like you should set this foundation. It is way luminous. This is probably one of the most luminous foundations that's affordable to the drugstore that I've ever applied in my life on my face. So what I would say is definitely set this, but it's going to give you a beautiful luminous finish. It's definitely a long wear illuminating foundation. It's high definition. I love it. I like the way that it shows in pictures. This is definitely like in my top five of drugstores. This has moved up in that top five. I absolutely love this. This is going to be amazing for me in the fall to winter months when I'm a bit drier. These are the type of foundations that you want to kind of go for. Any areas that you get oily throughout the day, you're definitely going to have to have a kind of like a powder to kind of reset and blot the oiliness I found I usually don't ever have to do that I had to do this with this foundation so that is a good thing especially if I know that I'm drier in the mouth around the mouth area and the nose in the winter months I think that this is going to be a perfect foundation if you are dry or very dry this is a foundation that you definitely want to pick up oily skin I would not prefer this because you definitely have to use a mattifying primer and you still probably get oily like I used one and I'm normal to dry I'm more normal now but I still had to use a mattifying around here and powder so so I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what foundation you want me to try next thanks so much for watching please subscribe if you hadn't already and I'll see beautiful you in the next video bye ladies